Hello everyone, this is Jake the Geek Out Tech, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of upgrading your device to iOS 8. I'm not going to show any details about iOS 8, just the upgrade process. One of the first things you want to do before you get going is plug your device into a power source, because this takes a long time. For me, the whole process took me about an hour, but that's going to vary greatly depending on your internet connection and other factors. So let's get the upgrade going. The first thing you want to do is click on settings. Then we're going to click on software update. And then it's going to look for an update and it should find iOS 8. We're going to download and install, put in our passcode, agree to some terms and conditions. And this software update for me is 957 meg, which is a pretty big file. Depending on your internet connection, this download time can vary greatly. For me, it took about six minutes. The first thing that it's going to do is go out there and request an update. Because there's so many people downloading it right off the bat, this may take a long time for it to actually start the upgrade. For me, I waited about a minute. Hopefully soon it'll begin downloading the file. When it's done downloading, it's going to start preparing the update. For me, this took 24 minutes. After it's done preparing the update, it's going to ask you if you want to install it now or later. So I'm going to go ahead and install it now. Once it starts installing, it's going to verify the update, which only takes a couple of minutes. And then it's going to do the actual install. The actual install for me took 20 minutes. When it's done installing, you're going to get a welcome screen. So at the welcome screen, we'll just swipe, put in our passcode, and it'll tell you that the update is complete. Go ahead and click continue to move on. And here you can enable location services if you like. Then it's going to update some cloud settings. It does this a couple of times. More terms and conditions, of course, to agree to. And more iCloud setting updates. And then it'll ask you if you want to upgrade to iCloud Drive. Now for me, I'm going to need to do a little bit more research about iCloud Drive. So I'm going to skip it for now. And we're finally done with the upgrade. And we can start using our iPhone. For me, the whole process took about an hour. And that's the installation process of iOS 8. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. Please subscribe for more videos, and I hope you enjoy iOS 8.